Good morning, this is Mila Boschkova with the daily report from the eGlobe newsroom in Varna. Let's look at our story for today. Russia has lifted the embargo on imports of poultry, beef, frozen and dried vegetables explicitly intended for the production of baby foods with a government decree issued on 27th of May. According to Deputy Prime Minister Arkady Dvorkovich, the decision has been in the works for quite some time and it aims to boost the country's baby food industry. He assured the public that no other food items will be dropped from the banned list. The ongoing game between the West and Russia of prolonging economic sanctions against each other dates back to 2014 when most of Europe and several other Western countries imposed economic sanctions against Russia for its annexation of Crimea and involvement in eastern Ukraine. Throughout the spring and summer of 2014, the European Council discussed and eventually introduced a ban on the import of some products, investment, tourism services and the export of certain goods and technologies. In August that year, Russia responded to Western pressure by restricting food import from the EU, US, Canada, Australia and Norway and last year it extended the ban to the embargo to Albania, Montenegro, Iceland and Liechtenstein due to their support of EU sanctions. The current easing of the food embargo comes at a pivotal moment. Shortly after, Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev ordered the government to extend the embargo until the end of 2017 and a little before the European Council's meeting on 28th and 29th of June to decide whether to prolong their sanctions beyond 31st of July 2016. Russia's reasoning for extending sanctions revolves around defending the interests of its domestic agricultural industry, whereas EU's justification is grounded in Russia's not-so-democratic ways and loose adherence to the Minsk Agreement of 5th of September 2014. Western foods banned for import include chicken, beef, pork, dairy products, live and frozen fish and shellfish, nuts, fresh vegetables and fruits. Exemptions to the embargo comprise nutritional supplements, lactose-free dairy products, onion sets, seed potatoes, hybrid sweet corn, beef for plantic, salmon spawn, young mussels, young trout and spat. The government has expanded the list to include organic raw materials to boost local baby food manufacturing. The Agriculture Ministry will be in charge of approving the import of these foods for specific enterprises, which will supposedly ensure that they will not reach the black market. This was all for today. If you'd like to find out more, please visit eGlobe.com. Thank you for watching.